Okay. Hey, what's up, dudes? Uh, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a local auction here in Louisville. Sometimes there's this auction house that has some interesting stuff that kind of pops up. Uh, actually, I furnished a lot of my new house buying stuff at this auction, which probably wasn't the greatest of ideas because sometimes their stuff goes a bit high. Um, but you can also find deals as well. I wanna show you some of the stuff uh, that they've got here. I've got this sewing machine on here because I was just uh, wanting to watch it. It's up to 160 bucks now because this is one you don't see a lot of. That's a um, that's a singer. But this stuff up here, there was a. It's it's actually already sold this one, so I missed it. But this was I I, I uh, decided not to buy it, uh, even though I kind of wanted it because I'll show you. Well, I'll show you why I wanted it. How do you get to the other pictures? Well, anyway. What, what this was, was this was a bunch of KFC chicken ads on the, for radio uh, from like the late 60s, from like 1967. It was a bunch of KFC chicken uh, ads, which I thought might be really interesting. So I was going to buy it, but this is really what I'm here for right here. And this is going to end in 14 minutes and 25 seconds. So I'll probably just kind of uh, talk until then, but... Uh, the reason I want this, well, I mean, should be fairly obvious. I've actually already got this exact <clears throat> uh, tape recorder, um, and someone sent it to me, a guy uh, who it belonged to his grandfather, um, and he is a, I think he was a doc, I think the gentleman that sent it to me was a doctor in Illinois, uh, and his grandfather owned the tape recorder, and he sent it to me. Uh, I've got a video. If you want to see it, I'll put a link where you can go see me opening that and going through it. And the reason I really want this for as well, multi-layered. Um, this is from the early 1960s, the height of Ampex's, you know, uh, power as a company. Really, Ampex is all, the company actually that's responsible for inventing uh, uh, television on tape. So they basically invented, you know, recording. Uh, recording audio visual stuff onto tape. They were pioneers of all that. So uh, very interesting history on this company uh, and a really cool, cool setup right here. We've got the tape recorder. We've got this little stereo graph thing. Uh, we've got the these two loudspeakers, which are can be easily converted into guitar amps. You see a lot of these pop up on reverb. Uh, I think usually people sell these for like about three fifty to four hundred dollars or something like that. Now these are missing the covers, which is a shame. Um, but still, you really don't necessarily need them. But this is a really cool setup. Uh, I think I'm not sure what the I forget what the amplifier is in in this uh, in these breakout mono amps. Right now I'm losing this auction, and I've been keeping up with this guy tit for tat all the way up. And uh, I've got a number in mind that I'll probably stop at, and I'm sure he has a similar number in mind that he's going to stop at, and we'll see which one one of us comes out on top here. <laughs> it's at least one other guy that I'm, I've been going back and forth with the last couple days. I actually had it for week. Uh, I had this auction up for like two weeks, and I've been winning this thing for all that time. But now, right now, it's at the bidding is at. Can you even see it? Because I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Okay, you can see it here. The bidding right now is at 575, and again, we got 11 minutes to go on this, and I, I kind of want to film film it because it's interesting. But um, I mean, you can see here what this thing is. This is when you open this up. If this is anything like the one that I already have, uh, mine was full of vintage Telefunken 12AX7s. I had five of them, five of them in mine. You know, RCA tubes in here uh just really top of the line stuff that comes in these as that is if nobody's messed with it and i doubt anyone has because this house has got a lot of antiques and stuff and a lot of older stuff and a lot of times in estate sales you get stuff that's fairly untested untainted by other people so it's really a good place to get stuff and uh i mean just these alone like i said each one of these alone probably is worth uh, 350 or 400 dollars just for that i could easily convert that into it's basically already a guitar amp and it's a very easy conversion to convert one of these but now i'm going to get two of them 
I'm not saying I'll even do that. If I win this set, I might just keep the set together and, and service it and use it as is. Um, but really, really cool setup. So that's what we'll probably do here. We'll go through all of these. See, this is the model number 2010. That's the uh, little breakouts. And I'll show you probably up on the screen what all's in it. Um, but this this reel-to-reel -reel recorder is, is really tip-top. This is a nice, nice reel-to-reel uh, -reel from the real heyday of reel-to-reel -reel as a medium. Uh, they also have a lot of reel-to-reel -reel tapes. Uh, that are for sale. These are some pre-recorded things that I was really less interested in. Most people are more interested in the pre-recorded stuff, and I'm just kind of not. Um, there's, the, you know, this stuff is kind of going high as well. But look at this. This right here, th this bunch of tapes, is, I think there's like 42 tapes that are recorded music. Uh, and it's like all dance stuff or whatever. But there's like 42 tapes here, and who, first of all, who knows what's all what all's on it? You know, it could be cool just to play some of the stuff. But also, if you wanted to record over it, I mean, it's not difficult to record over these tapes. But there's 42 of the things, and for 15 bucks, I mean, that's like less than 50 cents per tape. You know, it's it's. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a maximum on that. I mean, what do I want to do? Like a dollar a tape, so. We'll say $43 on that. We'll go above a dollar a tape. How's that? Because if I saw them somewhere, I'd probably pay a dollar a tape, right? So let's do that. Twenty. I'm a high bidder right now. I probably should have waited, actually, because uh, if I don't win this, I'm probably going to be less... Uh, I'm going to be less interested in the rest of this stuff. But they've got a pair of Koss headphones here, some real nice Koss headphones. Um, these are, let's see, what are these? It says it here. Whoop. What'd I miss? Oh, there they are. It says it right there. They are Pro 4AAAs. They're Pro 4 triple A's. Nice set of headphones. Some of those, some of those are really going for a lot of money on eBay. And I think some people are wise to that. There's some engineering books here, man. Check this out. There's a whole bunch of really cool engineering books like uh, Kinematics of Machines, Applied Mechanics, Principles and Practice of Electronic Engineering. There's another one, Introduction to Electronics Engineering, Theory and Applications of Electron Tubes. From the, that's a book from the late 30s. It's like 1937, two book. Got a couple of electron, uh, electrical engineering books down here on the end for direct current, alternating current. Advanced Mathematics for Engineers, just a lot of really cool old books. I uh, had bids in for th these books for a while, and somebody just now outbid me. So I probably won't end up with those. We've got some soldering tools and supplies here uh, in this auction. A couple of Weller soldering guns. So uh, we've also got some Heath kit kits. Um, we've got some elect other electronics here. That's an old intruder uh, alert alarm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> cool little multimeter here. Uh, old analog multimeter. What is that? A, uh, it's a Faostron or something like that. I'm not sure. It's hard to read. We've got a KLH um, tuner right there. Looks like an FM tuner. Um, not sure what the hell that is. That looks like an AM tuner. So I'm really not that interested in those. We've got a lot of uh, more radio engineering books down here. But, uh, you know, just so I don't miss on, on this Ampex, let's go back up here. All right, we've got six minutes to go on the Ampex. The thing about this auction is they have a, an extended period. So if you... Um, if you put in a bid in the last minute or so, it will extend time, you know, so the other person can, uh, it might be the last five minutes, I'm not sure. But let, let's go ahead and just take a stab at this. What do I want to do? I had 612 in here earlier, and I kind of sat on that figure for a second. There's a 10% buyer's premium as well, so I have to keep that in mind. But I'm just thinking to myself, this is a nice set. It's all together. It's all there. 
with the exception of the lids for those um, those mono amps, you know, it's pretty complete. They did say that the uh, record button sticks, but I'm going to have to service the thing anyway, so I'm, you know, I'm counting on that. Um, but that's one of the things I, I would think that somebody else would be counting on as well, so that would weed out potential comers on this. Um, but I want to put them at something where they're not going to touch me here. Um, gosh, what do I want to go on this? What would I want to go on this? It's going to kill me to lose it, but I don't want to overpay either. Uh, I think I might already be overpaying, but you know, like I said, I, I almost have to take a stab at this. So let's let's try this. <laughs> let's just do it. You ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. What the hell? Let's see what we do. Let's see what we can do. It's probably this is the last stab at this. I think I'm going to take. Let's do it. 600 bucks. I'm winning. Let's cross our fingers. We got four minutes and 33 seconds here. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really enamored by this set. Uh, I just, you know, the one that I have that the fella sent me already, um, like I said, it has so many really good tubes in it. Uh, all of the preamp tubes almost were Telefunkins. There were, I think, five. I re went back and rewatched that video, and I think there were five telefunken 12ax7s inside of that thing <laughs> and it would just be a fantastic preamp for recording if you wanted to use it for that um, you don't even have to use the tape function you could use the preamp as a preamp uh, you know it might take some modification to do that i'm not sure but um it's it's really too good to pass up I'm, i don't want to pass this up so and I'm hoping this person gets discouraged. This is kind of cool because what is this? Basic control settings. So for what type of this is cool because this is a thing. Uh, and I, well, I also got the manual with my old one. So I've, I've actually got more than they've got here, but they've got some stuff I don't have like this little thing. This this is one of those things that slides back and forth. Like, you know, you grab the little tab on the end and it slides. So you can set it for stereo or mono and you can set it for inches per second, like the speed and all that stuff, I think. And it uh, it just it tells you where to set everything, you know, based on what you want to achieve with your recording or whatever, you know. So that's kind of cool. What's it got? Special effect. So this that could be cool just in and of itself, that little card. Um it was really surprising. Well, not surprising actually, but it's 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 just incredible, I guess I should say, incredible. Uh how much documentation came with all of this old stuff and particularly this Ampex um reel to reel that I've already got in my possession when I got it the manual is like I don't know how much it's like maybe 30 or 50 page manual dude that's got like stuff in there information that you probably would never use like you know how to uh, degauss your head and all the uh, all the response curves for the heads of the thing and like just like stuff on the history of magnetic recording and just it's it's a, a amazing manual uh it's a, a good read in it in and of itself uh, but this is you know this is from a time when things were made to a standard that you just do not see anymore and you will never see again uh they can't make stuff like this um and make money the way that they used to I mean, this thing is like the whole chassis and stuff is is all solid steel. If you take it out, all of the surrounding uh, on the chassis uh, is is all is all steel. It's just, I mean, it weighs a ton, but it's um it's amazingly built, and it's just, you know, this stuff is actually getting more and more scarce as people snatch it up who know what it is and uh, know how well it's made. And tape has been making a comeback as well, which is another reason I wanted to uh, snatch up that tape. Now watch this. He's probably going to try to snipe me at the end, but he doesn't realize. Watch it. 51 seconds left. 50, 49, 48. He's probably going to try to snipe me eBay style, but he doesn't realize that uh, 
uh, that they will give me more time. <laughs> I might have just beat him, though. Hopefully somebody's wife steps in. She says, no, you can't have it. You've gone up high enough. <laughs> Is the number of the beast going to win this? Come on, number of the beast. Oh, I'm actually winning for uh, 575. Okay, so 575 is my actual bid here. And 666 is my max. Two, one. Did I win it? I think I won it. It says it's closing. Okay, so the pre recorded stuff sold. I'm the high bidder on the dance tapes. I won. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Take that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to gloat. You've got to gloat. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, the dance tapes. I've got 23 seconds on those. I'm the high bidder. I'm going to win those. These down here, man, I'm going back and forth on. Now, how many? There's one minute and 17 seconds left. Am I going to win these two? So I want these two. I think I may have gone too far any, as it is money wise. But let's see. Do I want these two? These are the ones that are intriguing because you don't know what's in them. They're not labeled like dance. These could be anything. These could be like, you know, some old concert of Hank Williams when he stopped into Louisville and stayed the night with them, you know, it, at their kitchen table. I mean, you, this is the kind of shit that you dream about. Like, what could possibly be on these? And for 38 bucks, it's one of those, it's like, ah, oh, oh, you know, what do you do? It's already extending, so that means two people are already interested in this. Maybe they know something I don't. Should I take a stab at this? I think I might just let them have them. Because, I mean, like I said, I, I've already got a bunch of them right here. So I'm going to let them have those. But, man, that's that's one of those things you just never know, you know. These electrical engineering books, I really hate to see them go because I stay. I stuck with those for a long time. Uh, the headphones at seventy five dollars. That's probably a that's probably a decent deal. These other ones were Kenwood's. Uh, what are these other ones? We, you could look those up on eBay or whatever and see what they go for. Now these are go for expensive. Some people ask expensive prices on these, which I don't think they go really high, but they do go. I, think, I do think they go over a hundred bucks a pair of those. Um. But these are HS5, what are the HS5 Kenwoods right there. And then there's some other miscellaneous parts and cables and stuff like that too. I think I'm winning another auction down here as well, somewhere. Okay, now this is the other one I'm I'm kind of interested in. Uh okay, uh Yeah, I don't need the soldering tools. I've got enough irons and soldering guns and all that. This is the kind of stuff that intrigues me because there's uh, so much just hardware and stuff in here. Now, I, you know, all these washers and stuff, uh, screws, bolts. Now, I've already got a lot of this, but, you know, like those RCA ends right there would be good for restoring old fenders um, and just little stuff like that. Nickel and dime stuff. And hardware is getting so expensive. You get nickel and dime to death on hardware if you have to go buy it. So it's good to just grab this stuff when you see it, especially for six bucks. I mean... That's what I'm winning it for right now. Um, looks like I might might win it. Unless somebody says, oh, hardware for six bucks, that stuff. You that nickel and dime you to death on that. <laughs> Say exactly the same thing I just said. Uh, this Heath kit stuff right here, um, I followed it for a while. There was some cool stuff in here. You know, it might have been neat to build. Um, it's basically some old uh, intercoms uh it's got like 20 seconds or something left but see these little old intercoms these little breakouts i think there's a couple different ones there's speaker there um yeah there it is gd 140 two station intercom if you want to look that up and then there's a electronic thermometer right here which is yeah, it's, it's it's kitschy and 70s looking plasticky you know i i really wasn't into it 
Uh, this one's extending. I don't want that anyway. For 14 bucks, do I want two boxes of radio books? See, here's the thing. There's a lot of good stuff here, man. You know, I don't. If you're a radio engineer, I'm I'm less into radio stuff than I am into guitar stuff or hi-fi sort of stuff. But you know, there's some a lot of radio engineering books there for somebody. And people say, you know, books are going out of style. Books are going out of style or whatever. But uh, when you need the information and you can't find it on Google and you can't and Google's getting worse and worse about that and you can't find it on DuckDuckGo even, um, you know, what do you what do you do? You're going to have to find it in a book. And the thing is, too, with them, and I say them, the the proverbial them clamping down on, you know, just knowledge and information in general it's probably a good idea to have books in this day and age. You know, it, do I want that? I probably do want that ladder for 10 bucks, don't I? That's a good ladder. I don't have a ladder. Hell with it. 36 seconds. Let's go let's go $12 on a ladder. How's that? It's just a short painter's ladder, but uh I don't have any ladders, so I'm, I'm gonna have to get get a ladder somewhere anyway. I need a nice big long extension ladder to get up on my roofs and do some work. But uh, see, now this part's been this was the last thing I was looking at. There's only one minute or so left on this, um, and it was kind of hard to tell what some of this stuff was because they didn't photograph it the greatest. But usually parts bins like this, man, they're like a real coup in terms of all the stuff that you get for cheap. I mean. You just never know what's in one of these, and uh, the stuff that you get. Like I said, hardware will nickel, nickel and dime you to death, and you know this stuff will last you years, probably maybe even the rest of your damn life. You'll be using stuff out of this. You know what I mean? That's why you see so many parts bins around here because I've already done this a lot. <laughs> and said, man, they're selling that that parts bin is going for five bucks, and I'd snatch it up. It's like I can't let it go for five bucks. All right, I think I've spent probably way too much money. Um, I won a couple things. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Uh, did I win the ladder yet? Nope, got one minute to go. Oh, here comes my daughter. Ivy, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> 40 seconds until I have a ladder. Now watch this have like some massive problem or dent. I didn't even look at it. Didn't even look at it. Yeah, it looks fine. Standard aluminum ladder. Dime a dozen. So yeah, I think uh, I think I spent probably a little bit too much money on on that. Um, it's more it's definitely more than I wanted to spend. But here's the thing, like I said, if ever I wanted to, I could very easily easily uh, make those two mono amps into guitar amps and just sell those off separately. I could even modify them here on the channel and sell them off that way. And uh, I I more than confident I would come out ahead just on the amplifiers and I would have basically the free um, reel to reel after that so yeah so I mean I, I'm considering it a victory I've I've won the ladder um, so yeah I'm very happy very cool um, thanks you guys for sticking around for this this will probably be a channel 2 video of just me kind of dorking around but uh, when I go pick the stuff up, I don't know, maybe I'll make a longer video out of this. That's the thing, too. You never know about these videos. I just Sometimes I'll try to shoot things uh, just to get footage, and then later on I might piece together things. Like you know, I have a, a penchant for piece, piecing together stories that take a little while. And uh, some, some things, actually, I'm still setting on from years ago that are just parts of a story I wanted to tell but never got around to telling the rest and so you know that happens quite a lot actually to me <laughs> so 
anyway, thanks you guys for sticking around. Uh, hope it was fun for you. Pretty cool for me. I actually won the thing that I set out to win, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, so we will see y'all later and look for this to come up in another video probably very soon.